try back up this way. There we go, a little bass. Tiny little guy, just right for what we're doing. Beautiful, he was hiding right in that corner over there. Let's get a shot of him on the main camera. It is really hot outside today, but we found this guy. Absolutely beautiful fish. I just love the colors on these guys. That's my favorite thing about fight. I mean, uh, catching them, their fight isn't spectacular especially when they're this small, but they are very, very pretty fish. Let's toss them back. We'll keep going. Nothing on that cast. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. There's a fish. There we go. Finally. That's a pretty good hook set too. Right through the corner of his, of his jaw there. Nice looking fish. That is a gorgeous animal. God, the green these things have. Look at the green on this fish compared to the green on the grass behind him. It's not even the same. It's like that back there is like a wall you painted green in your house. And this is like an emerald that you see in a museum. Just beautiful. Let's get him back. What a wonderful, wonderful fish. There he goes. All right, new spot. Let's get off. Yeah, just go around these bushes here. Pretty big pond out here. Goes out that direction for a good ways, but I want to go this way. I want to try to fish under that bridge the steep concrete banks are. If you're a fish and it's really, really hot outside, you're going to try to do the same thing a person's going to do. You're going to try to find shade and a place to rest up where it's nice and cool. And underneath that bridge, although it's going to be kind of loud, Quite a nice spot just in general. So here's what we got. We've got a very loud motorcycle. But what we've got is we've got this very large bridge. It's actually a lot bigger than it looks. It's true of most anything when you're on foot, it looks a lot bigger than when you're driving over it. But what I'm thinking we're gonna do, I will come back out and throw some lures out here, but I want to try under the bridge first. So here we go. This is what I want to do. I want to throw some lures not only right up along downside these concrete walls, but out towards those pillars. That is just a fantastic looking spot. We're going to break our fishing rod I'm trying to get there. Fish on, there we go. Finally. Finally, let's flip him over. It's gonna be hard one, two, three, and he's over. Try to keep him, there we go, off that hard concrete. That's a nice looking fish. Quite pleased with that. He gave himself away. He took a, a bug off the top of the water. I heard the splash. I uh, cast out to him when we got him. Let's put him right here. Uh, now I know what the pond water tastes like. Oh, he just splashed it right up in my mouth. There we go. There he is. That's a pretty fish. Quite pleased to have that. Right between two bridges. This is University, by the way, in case you're wondering. Here in Sugarland. Right beneath it. 
you have this beautiful fish. Let's put him back. Whoosh. Keep going. And normally, you know, I always wear a pair of uh, polarizing sunglasses. Hope you see through the water a lot better. But when you're in an area like this where you're underneath something that's casting a lot of shadow, it actually becomes a hindrance. You can't see uh, the, the breaks on top of the water when you're trying to sight cast a fish as well as you can when you're in the sunlight. So I'm gonna have to actually, I know if I do that, they're gonna fall in the water. So here's what you do. This little strap of this GoPro, just slide them around right behind me so they're out of the way. Try, I want to try again right along the edge of this concrete bank. It was along the edge of the bank and it was on the bottom. And this is actually quite deep, this water feature. There we go. Oh, there we go. Let it sink. That's the key. Let it sink to the bottom, let it sit, and then slow retrieve across the bottom. And that's where they seem to be picking it up. All right, oh, that time we got him. That time we got him. He's putting up a good fight, this guy. Look at him run, look at him run. There he is. Woo! <laughs> All right. All right, all right, all right. One, this is the hard part. This line is not made for this type of fishing. What's uh, there you go. Woo, he's a, he's a pretty big fish for this little waterway. Ah, ouch. <sighs> hook set myself there. That's a, oh, that's a good hook set. That's why we keep these kiddos. <sighs> don't leave home without them. Make sure you don't grip the line. I might actually just retie anyway after this. This fish is so big, the chances that he puts some abrasion marks on the line is pretty good. He's pretty well hooked. Oh, there we go. There we go. Hey! Look at that. Definitely not the same fish. This one is much bigger. Much bigger bass. You know, I don't go fi bass fishing a whole lot, so that is the largest one I've caught in some time. There we go. Look at that, guys. That's a fish right there. That's a beautiful fish. I don't even know if you can see it. Oh, that's pretty good. It's so dark in here. That. Oh, I got my finger. This is a pretty good fish. Okay, let's put him back. There he goes. Beautiful. Okay, we have found what is working here and what is not. The fast retrieve mid to top column is not working but the slow retrieve at the very bottom is is doing the trick now look he has mauled my little soft plastic here i try to use these as much as possible you know usually when a fish tears one a bit i just uh i unhook it i turn it around and i try to find a fresh spot there that'll hold for a bit Let's get this back out there in that same spot. They seem to be all kind of hanging out down there, which makes a lot of sense. The most obvious feature in that direction, you can see it right here, is where the shadow meets the light. And if you're a predator, you're gonna hide alongside the shelf or this cover, and you're gonna ambush little prey items out in the light that can't see you as you hide in the shadow. We're just doing a very slow retrieve on the bottom.
There's number three right there. These guys fight hard. He's he's a tiny guy, but just just the right size for what we're doing. Ah, oh, gotcha. What a fish. What a fish. Look at that. Fish, and then you've got traffic up above. Bring him over here where you guys can see his full array of colors. Just what a fantastic looking animal. Drop him in and he's gone instantly. The moment he hits the water, he's invisible. Just fantastic. It's what I talked about before. Just by way of being so beautiful, these animals are also invisible. And that's just such a cool idea. <laughs> a lot of animals do it. Uh, largemouth bass are by far one of my favorite examples of that. Well, there's rain clouds coming and yes that makes it feel fantastic but I'm not in the mood to get soaked to the bone today and I don't want to get the camera wet so we're gonna call it a day surprisingly fantastic day of fishing you know woke up fairly late got out here fairly late it was really hot and it was a new spot I didn't know if it was gonna work out and it turned out to be fantastic fishing today so I'm quite quite pleased as always more coming soon stay tuned and until it does I'll see you guys later